Apple releases iOS 7.1 beta for developers with some minor enhancements. Some Android source code reveals some plans for their enhanced camera features. And yes, even Qualcomm brings us their own smartwatch. I'm Jaime Rivera. And yeah, 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 I missed you guys too. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as Google has just updated their Windows Phone search application. Uh, and yeah, if this were another platform, we wouldn't be celebrating, but since both these companies haven't really gotten along well with their whole YouTube quarrel, it's great to see that something has happened. I mean, you're not getting Google now still, but at least you're getting the enhanced voice search aside from the same aesthetics from the Google application that we currently see on iOS and Android. Hopefully we will be seeing some enhancements in the future since you can finally even log on now with your Google account. And speaking of Google, we've got some source code leaks from Android 4.4 KitKat. And as it turns out, the company is working hard on bringing us a new, completely revamped service for their photos. Which, hallelujah, I mean, that was greatly needed right now in KitKat and we're finally getting it. Apparently, we're getting support for raw photographs, which is great, aside from a new, complete UI and new APIs as well for the camera. Uh, the problem is we obviously don't know when we're getting it, but it's great to see that they're finally working on it. As the Nexus 5 has a great lens and and software just doesn't match it. Now let's talk about Qualcomm and not about smartphone processors. The company is bringing us a smartwatch. It's called the Talk, as in T-O-Q. I hope I pronounced that right. And what makes this smartwatch special 